Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Okay, three win streak, no big deal. Don't be upset, that's just how it goes. Trinity Shield, Unicorn Stump, and Pulse Worm. This is good, and good damage as well. Um, great run last time, it was Azazel, so people will be like, oh, Azazel, uh. But at the same time, uh, we, uh, this is such a cool run, I really like this run a lot. Um, but at the same time, we uh, we messed it up a little bit, and we ended up going to fight Mega Satan, which is wild. This is the first time that we're going to be hoping for, like, Famine on the first floor. Because Famine on the first floor, all of a sudden, makes Unicorn Stump, like, extremely valuable. What we're going to do here, while we're just confining it useless, is, you know, might as well walk in for free and then take damage on the walk out of the Cursed Room. It's not bad, it saved us a lot of heartache, but... Well, it saved us a potential little bit of heartache. You're going to hear some noise coming in the background here, just, uh... Don't worry about that. Just the shower. Having a good... Actually, you know what? I smell it. I think I think the shower's being cleaned right now. I think there's some bleach being pumped in there. That's good. Um, oh, no! I left my red hoodie in... No, so don't worry about it. Just don't drink the shower. As long as you don't drink the shower, we should be fine. Uh, so, sincerely, how do we make this unicorn stump work? If we get fucking Midas Touch, it's over. The run is done. We'll get so powerful so fast. It's the ultimate snowball, and the snowball finishes in like a floor. Why is it the ultimate snowball? With Midas Touch, you do contact damage equal to your number of pennies, or equal to your, your finances. You also get enemies to drop more money every time they die when they're affected by Midas Touch. So you start out, you got a little bit of money, you do a little bit of damage. When they die, they drop a little bit of money. That causes you to do more damage, which causes you to kill more enemies, get more money, and eventually you're just you're at 99 cents by like the second or third floor. So if we could swing that, that would be amazing. 30 touch would be fine. Sacrificial dagger would be great. An orbital would be great. Um, poison touch would be great. Anything that does damage to enemies when we get damaged. And is also not like an active spacebar item that would replace what we've got going on here. Unfortunately, it's a little useless for now, but we already have one half of the puzzle. It's not that rare for the other half of the puzzle to just kind of, you know, make itself happen here a little bit later on. No, that's a straight up shower. That is not bleach. Unless they're showering in bleach, at which point I should probably go investigate what the heck's going on there. But anyway. Um, so far, so good. We're in a bit of a weird middle ground here. I'm very happy we have a key so this item room could bail us out of this, potentially. We don't know for sure, but... Um, the, uh... I also want to point out before I forget, I'm very happy we got Trinity Shield, an item that we never see. Because we do deals with the Angel so rarely, and then the deals with the Angel never pay out with anything interesting. Although we did get the Mind on the last run. Anyway, um... We're in a bit of a weird middle ground because we have no... Hmm. We have no uh, HP to take a deal with the devil. The strength card sorts it, though. We use the strength card on the deal. Ah, no, it doesn't really sort it. It would still lead to us getting killed. My thinking was, pop the strength card. Then you go in, take a deal with the devil. Maybe it would. Nah, I don't think it would. But the problem is then, when we left, the strength card would wear off. Or if we used it on the deal with the devil, they'd already be three spirit heart deals, and those could kill us if we didn't have more than three spirit hearts, even if we had red hearts. It's a messed up situation, but um, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. What might be great is if we get a deal with the devil and an HP upgrade, then the HP upgrade works with the strength card and we can take multiple deals with the devil that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to afford. But anyway, th this is all like theory crafting right now. Right now we're just looking for the item room, we're looking for the boss room, we're uh, theoretically looking for the shop. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to buy another spirit heart and insulate ourselves from this, but if there is a benevolent and, uh, you know, happy god in this universe. Please give me famine right here. I know there's no benevolent and happy god in the universe because that enemy exists. <laughs> that That's the ultimate uh, argument there, I think. Pin is fine. Pin's not bad. You know, I don't know. If we're trying to use the strength card to scum up the boss or scum up the deal with the devil, I don't know if we use it here or on the deal with the devil. I think we have to use it on the deal with the devil, but in that case, I think it only works if we get an HP upgrade here as well to guarantee us a red hard deal with the devil. If there's even a deal with the devil item in the deal with the devil, you know, at this point, I'm going cross eyed here dealing with these permutations, but you get the idea. It's a weird setup. It's a setup. It's definitely weirder than what we normally deal with at this point. And that's cool. That's what Eden's all about, man. 
forcing you into these positions where you gotta think more critically. This is good. This HP upgrade is huge here, because it allows us to strength card up, and then we can take both of these. Whether you would even want to take both of these is another question altogether, but definitely we want the mark, and we're gonna lose this red heart when we leave anyway. So we might as well take this. Bad guess? Hematemesis. I was really hoping we'd get like a health upgrade out of it somehow. So we still don't have uh, anything that does damage to enemies that touch us. So this is... Oh, that's so stupid. So this is a... Um, I wouldn't say it's a problem necessarily, but... Something we're going to want to work on. Extra key means the shop is potentially viable. The parasite is a good pickup. Nothing wrong with that. We could go buy a spirit heart from the shop, but... I think I'd rather just kind of wait it out here. And... Uh, yeah, we've been to our special rooms, at least the ones that we've seen, so we're just going to go down to the next floor, save our money, and maybe be able to buy something a little bit more valuable as a result. But this is good, man. This is a great setup. We're just one orbital shy of basically being unkillable in the near future. And that can that can scale for the entire game with a certain, you know, pretty small subset of items, but a subset of items that absolutely exists. Pretty good deal with the devil, though. I can't uh, I can't deny feeling pretty pleased about the way that that word worked out. Um, with two keys, yeah, we'll check this out. Black Candle would be a lovely pickup. One of my favorite... I, you know, in nuclear... Oh, I fucked it up so bad. In nuclear throne terms, I would probably call that like a core pickup. If we have the opportunity to, I would love to get it. Not a huge fan of this room, but... You know, if we find ourselves pretty much guaranteed to take damage, we can always Unicorn Stump to get ourselves out of a bind. You know what, I just realized I probably missed out, or at least potentially missed out on an Arcade by not exploring the rest of that last floor. And, you know, Arcade Unicorn Stump, if you don't have Orbitals, like you're not going to be using Unicorn Stump every room anyway, it's really good. If not for the HP, at least the extra money, which could have made the last shop viable, but maybe that wouldn't make this shop viable. It's all good. We're, uh, you know, learn learn from your mistakes, hopefully. Don't really want to spend on this judgment yet. Black Candle's still very nice for us. And we're only probably one bomb away from making it work, as long as we're smart enough not to fire next time. How are we doing on time? Pretty much right where we want to be. Really hoping, uh, Pestilence, man. So uh, we should explore more to try to find a library as well, because if we get Book of Revelations, that sorts that out. Alright, that's enough money. For black candle and nothing else but curse immunity is uh very nice we won't have to worry about xl floors we won't have to worry about curses of the blind i'm happy to have it it's cool how parasite turned trinity shield orange i don't know what's up with that something to do with the way they uh you know color the assets in the game i guess depending on what your tier effect is maybe that's like the origin point for the tiers or something like that i'm talking out of my ass i don't know anything but um we might as well Unicorn Stump our way out of here. Let's see what the pills are first. Bad gas. Half a Spirit Heart, no big deal. I do want to open that. We're not going to use Unicorn Stump anyway. We might as well just open it. So we got some bad gas pills. We might as well try to make use of them. Hematomesis, we can just throw down on the ground. Tears up. Two of those bad boys is not too bad. And another one. That's Luck Down. It was worth it, man. I'd take a Luck Down for two Tears upgrades. We did get Luckfoot in our item room, so... Did we get two of them there? We did. We got uh, Luckfoot in our item room, so we're still probably ahead of the curve on luck overall. Good stuff. Okay. So DPS has gone up. Still looking for uh, anything that makes this Unicorn Stump valuable. Of course, this would be the one run where... Oh, there, we can go back and play that Judgment now. This would be the one run where I don't pick up an Orbital early. It, We've been fighting famine like crazy. We've been getting, you know, deals with the devil deals with the devil that include uh, Sacrificial Dagger all the time, except for this run. Including the last run, where... Wait, maybe that was two runs ago, but it, it was... <laughs> causing me some danger. The runs today have been so fast. Like, we went through that period where runs were taking us like 45 to 50 minutes each. For some reason now, we're just like, the game has lost all patience for me. And it's just like, yeah, he's, he's Northern Lion, let him through, let him through. He needs to get the boss rush on time. Oh, sweet Pestilence, okay. Pestilence, uh, you'll never know how valuable you are on this run. Champion Pestilence is pretty good too, because, uh, you know, he, he doesn't actually shoot the bombs, which makes my life way easier. Deal with the Devil here might be a little bit dangerous, but... 
We could probably be persuaded. No deal with the devil anyway. All right, all of a sudden, Unicorn Stump becomes like the most valuable space bar item we could have. And we're gonna go back and play that Judgment. And after that, we're gonna head downwards. And I would expect every room, basically, from this point onwards to be a lot faster. The problem is we can't fire, but... The, the orbital has to do more damage than our tears at this point. I'd be surprised if it didn't, at least. Come on, HP up would be really nice here. Yeah, it's perfect. Later in the game, we want to be all spirit hearts, but right now, we need fuel for the deal with the devil fire. And we do not have it yet. Well, now we do, I guess. All right, we got five cents for a possible arcade on the next floor. You know, it's going to be somewhat, I don't want to say controversial, but people are going to disagree with the decision, but I'm not going to use Unicorn Stump predominantly to play the arcade. I think that's a, a misuse of it. Unless, if you have other options, I think it's a misuse of it. The ability to, you know, kill even one or two enemies every single room is so good. Makes you basically immune. And might be a little deceptive. Might not seem like it. But we are sincerely basically one item away from it being impossible to kill us. A Midas Touch pickup wins us the run. The same way like a Tammy's Head plus a Brimstone pickup wins you a run. It's just, it's almost just mathematically inevitable. That was a little sketchy there. The Relic probably puts this into guaranteed one run territory. We're gonna be probably, I mean, I don't wanna get too cocky. It depends on the bosses and the deals with the devil and, and whatnot, but we're probably gonna be at max HP within a floor or two, and it's gonna be very tough. This is the only kind of room, this is the only room type where we can take damage. Well, that's not totally accurate. There's two kinds. A room like this, where we can't hit every enemy with Unicorn Stump. This is another good example right now. Um, and uh, then rooms where we're fighting enemies that have too much HP to die in one use of Unicorn Stump. But those are very rare. Uh, a Nun's Habit pickup would also be extraordinary here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try this out. Maybe a second secret room. But in addition to that, bomb for a key when we're low on bombs. Could make our shop valuable here. We could get a little bit of use out of our arcade. And there is an arcade. And you know what? I might fight one room just to be able to... No, that's a dumb decision. Like, this is another room. There's just a little bit too much space to cover. This is why Midas Touch becomes so valuable, because we kill enemies so quickly. Flying would help as well. Oh, that's actually huge here. So my thinking, let's come in here, play you once. Didn't expect much more than that. And uh, with two keys, we can come back here, pop it, open this. 16 cents. So now our shop becomes completely viable. And we can totally go to our boss rush room. This is another type of room. Maybe I was overestimating the usefulness immediately of, uh, of what we got going on here. But this is another kind of room where we won't be able to kill everything exactly right off the bat. That's another bad gas pill. Totally whiffed. And a luck downgrade. Um, this is the harder enemy of the two, I think. So just get in there. Get inside of little chub, basically. Or regular sized chub and finish it off. What comes next? Husk. Oh, Peep. No, Peep is way tougher. <laughs> My mistake. Alright, try to get in there when he's not putting creep down on the ground. Let your orbital deal the damage that it, you know it can do. Oh, that was shitty damage on my part. This room was, like, positively not worth it at this point. But we can always get something off the back end of it. Ooh, a little scary. Key might be valuable though. For now, let's just move on. Still waiting on our shop, and there it is. And on this room, we don't even really have to be near the enemies to hit them, so makes it easier on us. One of the unintended, or if not unintended, at least surprising consequences of Parasite. We'll take our spirit heart and be on our merry way here. Here, uh, safety cap is basically worthless for us, and we're starting to slow down. I'm not really concerning myself with boss rush, but I would be lying if I said it wasn't funny to me, at least, that we've been to it so many times in a row. wonder why that Spirit Heart plus key payout is being, like, so ubiquitous right now. Not that I'm complaining at all. Probably, okay, we should be using, uh, Unicorn Stump there. Excuse me? There we go. I don't know, we can probably get this guy. Yeah. A little touch and go, but we got it. Now let's go fight the boss. A pretty good shot at a deal with the devil. 
Adele Dazim is what I meant to say there. Not deal with the devil, of course. That doesn't. That's nonsense. Okay, keep it going. We're in the danger zone. I feel like we need Mom's Knife for like a sword to go with our shield. Mom's Knife is also a game-winning item with Unicorn Stump and anything for that matter. Uh, we gotta go Goadhead, right? Like it just gives us too many deals with the devil in the future. I don't think we can steal items. I don't think we can steal items. We might be able to steal items. Can't fly over to those. Well, with all that being done, there's only one room left. I'm just gonna bounce. Still happy with that floor, but uh, yeah, not quite uh, snowballing in the way that I'd like. My ideal deal with the devil item, if you ignore Mom's Knife, Brimstone, all that, you know, obvious stuff, is still Sacrificial Dagger. The more orbitals we get, they add up, man. They help us a ton. I don't like these enemies, so you can take them out quickly here, that's fine. Um, sacrificial Dagger is still a, an enormous help for us, basically because we don't have to wait for one rotation. And it does more damage than Cube of Meat, I think. So, of course that's on there. Uh, not really that psyched for familiars, but because of the familiar or the orbital game that we got going on here, BFF. And of course, Midas Touch, but, you know, Midas Touch or Attorney Touch, but we have no control over those showing up. The stars. Uh, look, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. I'm gonna save this for potentially, potentially getting out of our boss rush. So, pop the magician. Guppy's head, we're gonna use, but we have to stick with Unicorn Stump. It's too cool. We don't get this opportunity that often. Yeah, more more orbitals is our ball out of control card here. Hourglass is not it. That's okay. Nothing wrong with it. You gotta check the rooms. It's not like we really wasted a key. We were gonna go to that regardless of what it held. So BFF would be good here. No BFF. Blue map is fine. Absolutely. And I could I could see a case being made for converter as well. Why? What was I thinking on that one? I, I could tell you what I was thinking. Oh, I can kick that up there and maybe find a second secret room even though I have the blue map. Oh my god, Magic Mushroom just showed up. All is forgiven. If, I, if that's the damage I had to take to get Magic Mushroom for free, then so be it. Bad gas. Full health. Okay. That magic mushroom pickup makes me feel a whole lot better about this whole situation. Not that we were screwed anyway, but... Okay, fair enough. Assuming boss room's close by here. Any room with spikes, shouldn't even give it a second thought. Any room with uh, neutral enemies that can annoy me, I shouldn't even give it... Well, every room, if I can touch the enemies, I should not give it a second thought. Really happy about magic mushroom. The speed upgrade is kind of our unsung hero because it helps us get around the rooms faster with Unicorn Stump active. Um, we'll wait until we have... We might not even use Unicorn Stump on this room. We could use it against the haunts, but I think it's actually just easier to stay on the other side of the room and beat the shit out of them. We'll, let's try it. It does... It does hit. It's pretty unreliable, though. Oh, I like this a lot. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you, Parasite. Take our HP. The other thing was that the HP for Magic Mushroom made it possible for me to get good deals, but anyway. Uh, Lump of Coal, a beautiful pickup here. Fantastic, and we're almost at that HP cap that I was talking about. Okay, I'm gonna be a scumbag, but we have been to Item Room and Shop. I'm gonna head down to the next floor to keep Boss Rush Dream alive. You never know, it gives us four extra cracks at picking up something ridiculous like Midas Touch, right? Let's go one. Two, three, and I'm not super concerned about getting the payout there. I'm more concerned about getting into this room without wasting any bombs. I like it. I like it enough. I find it hard to believe that Gimpy will be the harder of the two enemies we fight here. The other one's the Husk, I think. Oh, you know, Gimpy might be harder, actually. But we can kill the Husk super quickly and easily. Oh, it's Monstro 2. Monstro 2 is definitely harder. Not, <laughs> you know, kind of striking out with my guesses on these boss trap rooms, but that's fine. At least this one we guessed wrong, but used right. That's why one of my biggest pieces of advice, of advice for myself is just don't do what you think is right. <laughs> do whatever, you know, just, just do whatever. Sometimes do the opposite of what you think is right. Not in real life, though. You should always, you know, follow your heart. As long as your heart's not an asshole. Excuse me. 
Thank you. We'll take this money. I would like to go to the shop. For now, though, it's all about getting to that boss rush room quickly. And then getting the hell out of there and annoying the shit out of all your viewers. But I'm, at this point, the streak just... You know, I was there. I was a Montreal Canadiens fan when it had been a year since Scott Gomez had scored a goal. When you, uh... When he starts out and he's like, man, it's been like nearly a full calendar year since he scored a goal. You're like, that's ridiculous. But as the days go on, you're like, you know what? I hope he doesn't score because this is insane. That's what I'm hoping that this weird ass streak is doing right now. People are like, well, I don't like Boss Rush, but I like the fact that I like absurdity. And this is kind of absurd. This is what, you know, when Nick is like, not every run in Isaac can be a Boss Rush run. You don't say. <laughs> Mind you, we have admittedly... He's right, actually, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, we've just had insanely good luck with getting a lot of damage early. So our our uh, boss room has to be over here. From the what I can tell, at least. And we're not uh, we're not guaranteed to get in there. I'm not going to pick that up yet. We'll probably take damage at some point. We'll want to know about that. Please tell me I didn't fuck myself here. I fucked my... Oh, I did... I sort of fucked myself here. I cost myself like 10, 15 seconds. That's all right. We finished them off quickly afterwards. Bloody Penny. Why would I get rid of Pulse Worm? It makes my uh, shots look like, you know, dubstep peaks. I don't know what that means. Sure, whatever, spiders. Two of clubs. Pop it right away. Just because we can. And we're at 19 minutes. I might as well check it out since I'm here. Little Brimstone is B-E-A beautiful. And it helps me out a lot, actually, uh, because it will shoot when I pop Unicorn Stump. I think I've had this combination like a surprising amount. It'll, it'll only shoot like if it's charged when I uh, when I pop it, but you get the idea. Okay, there we go. So we got to finish this room. I, we should be able to make it. There we go. One more, one more. Two more. Take the damage. I don't care. Tinted rock right off the bat. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. That's okay. It's okay. Pressure's on a little bit. Little Brimstone, you're my hero, man. You're everything I would like to be. You can fly higher than an eagle. You are the wind beneath my cheese. No no uh, Krampus fight, so we can come in here. Oh, we have Goathead, so we shouldn't have. Yes. Yes. And we made it. I think we go attack fly, even though dead onion is fun. Uh, it's piercing shots and stuff like that, but attack fly is better for our weird ass unicorn stump build, and that's I'm kind of building the run of, around that theme right now, so we might as well just enjoy it. Uh, and we still have a shop to go to. Should get that spirit heart now. It, I mean, all of that rushing. Not that we skipped any special rooms necessarily, but all that rushing just to get attack fly is not that meaningful, but. You know, given the circumstances, I think it was the best of what we had in there. Let's donate some money. We've been abusing our donation machine. It doesn't. It deserves a better partner than us, to be honest with you. But let's, you know, commit ourselves to reform. Treat it right. Be a better uh, player here. I can't deny Dead Onion uh, is the better item in that situation, but I think Attack Fly fits our theme better. See what's in that chest that I skipped. Super glad I came back. And also, I didn't need to point out, we got Sacrificial Dagger. The item I've been asking for forever has now shown up. So, we are like super good with Unicorn Stump now. We should charge up Little Brimstone before we use it because it's just, it's free damage. So, like, why not? But, um,. And yes, get, get ready for the patented Northern Lion. Leave some consumables behind on the ground. Yo, you leave those behind as seeds for the next time. You don't want to be the guy who, you know, in the Neolithic Revolution is, Hey, hey, Northern Lion, why are you leaving those seeds in the ground? Don't you want to eat those seeds for extra caloric intake? And I'll be like, well, my theory is, if you leave the seeds on the ground, they grow more plants. Look at this idiot leaving the seeds on the ground. Yo, I'm going to be... Eating some dank ass barley next season, you're gonna be sitting there with nothing. Your fields will be fallow, my friend. Your fields will be fallow. Yeah, why not? We'll give it a shot. Two of hearts. Like, completely worthless. We have bombs. Well, not that we need them. Okay. Getting a little ridiculous. Probably should start saving keys now. Take a spirit heart, doesn't bother me. Still waiting on Midas Touch. 
still waiting on Midas touch. I don't think it's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen now, it's gonna happen on the chest. Why am I not worried about taking spirit hearts? We got the relic. There's nothing to be worried about right now. Literally every room we walk into, we're invincible for like the first eight or nine seconds. Plus, we have a big knife sticking out of our body that murders any enemy it touches in typically less than eight or nine seconds. So I think you can, you know, run the math on this one. Occasionally, we may end up having to fight one enemy. For the most part, we're, we're pretty much nigh on killable. Boss fights might be a touch different. We might have to work on those, but every four rooms we get a spirit heart drop anyway. Who gives an S? Probably as soon as they start to fall here, which is now, we pop that because I don't want to get sucked away here. That room is the most annoying. To be able to cheese that room feels amazing. Alright, it went fine. And if we're taking out enemies that large, we uh, have little to fear. This room is annoying. It's all going to be like, our enemies are going to be, or our nemeses are going to be enemies that are super mobile. And uh, unfortunately, there's quite a lot of them here. All right, permanent Polaroid invincibility. I forgot we have a passive unicorn stump as well. Extremely lucky to have gotten out of the way of that. Where are you at, dog? There we go, we're done. Okay. I can't believe that worked. I thought that was placed absolutely horribly. Something to be said for the left hand, uh, but that something right now is no. I'm gonna stay away from it. I'm happy with Pulse Worm. So we don't even need to consider whether we'd be better off with uh, something. If you got a one run, and you're not extremely confident about what you're replacing things with, you know, the only thing you can do is turn your one run into a potential lost run, so let's not fuck around with it too much. Thank you for not giving me HP. That's the only thing I'll say about that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take, uh, We'll take Mom's Knife, and then we'll take Abaddon, and we might be at full HP, close to it anyway. And now, like, it's actually going to be disgusting. Like, if you were disgusted before, thinking this was an overpowered run, this is just going to be downright gross now. Uh, now we are the Orbital, and we do a lot of damage. So, you know, prepare yourself. The only thing that's worth noting is that we actually, we'll go back for that, obviously. The only thing that's worth noting is that we can't adjust Mom's Knife after we start uh, using the unicorn stump. So we have to be like, okay, I, this is a room where I'm going to point up because the enemies are here. This is a room where I'm going to point you know, down because the enemies are here. But even for enemies that we can't hit, and I was skeptical that we'd be able to hit those guys, but we made it work. Even for enemies that we can't hit, um, the... Sacrificial dagger should be able to and yeah, this is Actually just I mean, it's it's still fun, but like this is what I was looking for early in the run Imagine how fast we could have made this run work Not as like not that I had a bad time on this run But just imagine how disgusting the run could have been if our first item room had had uh, mom's or first devil room It had mom's knife in it It's a shame that you know one of the first times in a long while we actually get an HP item from those rocks Accidentally mind you but one of the first times recently that we get one we ha have no interest in it whatsoever I don't care man if you want to deal damage to me go ahead and deal damage to me I had a feeling you probably would not And this is gonna be yet another notch in our I don't want to say bedpost but another notch in our Isaac runs for today really really fast and kind of like outside of my own input there like this run is just a fast run the way that it's built we already have magic mushrooms so like if we can get a tears upgrade yeah yeah balls of steel yeah full health um we uh, don't need to pick up really anything else one key on this floor is is the the uber item world card yeah i'll just pop it so i can see where i'm going Looks like we've pretty much got a linear path here. We could have skipped the big room, actually, but we still can. So, I'm not that bent out of shape. Don't push that bomb. Don't push that bomb. Don't copy that, Floppy. Probably, oh, we're not going to be Guppy. Oh, we got Guppy's head. We're totally going to be Guppy now. Yeah, we're Guppy, man. So, I don't think we're going to be generating a lot of flies, but occasionally. Uh, and this is going to make Unicorn Stump even better, believe it or not. 
because now we'll have these weird ass flies getting generated all the time and those will do damage even if we're not around to make them do damage but they only do damage you know if they exist they have to exist first uh, and we can't make them exist while we're in unicorn stump I think unless maybe guppy's hairball hitting enemies causes its flies to spawn in which case I'm just the luckiest man in the world right now all right place your bets will we be able to beat Isaac before he has a chance to teleport away I'm thinking no but I'm, I'm open to the idea I think it's gonna be close. Never really, oh, that's what we wanted. And then just open that for no reason, yeah, smart idea. We'll probably get another key on the next floor, but that was still very stupid. Uh, he's not gonna get away. Oh, it was very close, but no, he, he did not get away. All right, this run is a little bit of a charade, but it'll be over soon, and we're just knocking these runs out of the park today. I'm having a great time with these. Book of Shadows is kind of hilarious here. Uh, I don't want any of these items. Prayer card, even, in, the, in this rare case, is not useful at all. I guess it doesn't really matter if we ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility now that I think about it. We could afford to take something that ruins permanent Polaroid invincibility, like stem cells, but why would we when we're already going to be at the HP cap on like every room anyway? Yeah, just come stand in the miasma. See what happens. Hey, are you guys going to be at the miasma today? I don't know why it sounds like this uh, sounds like the start of you know undone the sweater song. Hey, you gonna be the miasma man? Cool, dude. Cool. What have you been up to lately? Anyway, these are the rooms that suck actually uh, with unicorn stump. You know, it, talk about that situation. Are we strong? Are we stronger on rooms that have bosses or rooms that uh, have a lot of little enemies? On this room, we're lucky we have little brimstone, I guess, to help it along, but. There, we're much weaker on this room than we were against Isaac, or will be against Blue Baby. Room full of Blastasis? Officially harder than Blue Baby. You heard it here first. If you want to destroy Blue Baby, walk away after pressing space, after pressing space, watch him unravel, you'll soon be Isaac. And then add it to the streak, add it to the streak. He comes undone. I can live with that. I've done worse, worse Isaac-related parodies. Barely. That's not to say it's good, but it's <laughs> good relative to the other ones. Okay. No key beggar. I'm not even interested in those. Like balls of steel. What do I give a shit? How about balls of like get out of my face before I put my balls in my face and then your face is in my face. We've all been there before, obviously. I don't think I need to repeat myself. And I don't mean on vacation. Thanks for the spirit heart. Yeah, I'm really... Oh, yeah, oh, man, Grandma, I'll put it to good use. Yeah, it's just what I wanted. A spirit heart. Meanwhile, you get home, you're like, Why should you give me a spirit heart? I already have, like, 40 of them. God. You're gonna spend money on me. You might as well be constructive with it, Grandma. That was a 29 minute run. Kind of disgusting. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Weird Eden run that I liked a lot. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.